Hello, everyone. I am Miss Connie, and I am here at St. Anne's for the sycamore tree. We are celebrating Advent, and we are in our third Sunday of Advent. You might notice that our candle is pink today. Our third candle is pink. And our third candle is pink because we remember Mary's joy. I am here with Miss Kristen and Mr. Kimball, and welcome to the sycamore tree. Light one candle for watching, light one candle for watching, light one candle for watching as we look for the coming of Jesus. Light two. A reading from the Gospel according to John. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all that might believe through him. He himself was not light, but he came to testify to the light. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews said, Peace and love lights from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, why then are you baptizing if you are neither the Messiah nor Elijah nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of this sandal. This took place in Bethany across Jordan, where John was baptizing. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's word is hope. Now the priests and the Levites were asking John the Baptist who he was. They asked him, are you the Messiah? Are you a prophet? And John the Baptist said, no, I'm not. And they wanted to know why John the Baptist was baptizing people if he was not the Messiah or a prophet. And John said, he was the one crying in the wilderness to make straight the way for the coming of the Lord. What a funny thing to say. I'm crying. He was crying in the wilderness. John said, I'm crying in the wilderness. Remember, John lived in the desert. He ate locusts and honey, and he dressed in camel's hair, and he lived alone, and he was in the wilderness. And he said, I'm crying in the wilderness to make straight the path to the way of the Lord. And I was wondering, why would John say, make straight the way of the Lord? What did John mean about making the way straight? So I wondered about that, and I was thinking about that, and I was thinking about hiking. So I brought my hiking boots today. These are the boots that I wear when I go into the woods 
and I hike in the woods. I really like doing that. That's a lot of fun. But sometimes the path goes this way, and then it comes back this way, and then it goes this way. And I was thinking, is that what John meant about making a path straight? Because as I'm going this way, if I'm going to go all the way to the back of the church, and I'm moving this way and this way, I can't see my way to the back of the church because I'm pointing my head this way, and I'm looking this way or I'm looking that way. So when I make straight the path and I go right down the center aisle, I know exactly where I'm going. I can see, I can see where I'm going. So like hiking in the trails, we don't wanna get off the trails, but if we did get off the trails and we made a straight path, we would know exactly where we are going. If we are watching for Jesus, and we are hoping for Jesus, and Jesus is standing at the, at the entrance of that church or at the end of our straight pathway, we remember to keep our eyes on the straight path so that we can see Jesus, so that we can see Jesus' ways. Our life is like that path. We want to see God. We want to see God all the time. Jesus shows us God. But it's really hard when that path is not straight. So ways that we can keep our path straight is to always think about the words in the Bible and to think about the things that we hear in church or in the sycamore tree or the things that our parents teach us about God and about Jesus, when we remember those things, we can make straight the path. When we follow Jesus, we make our path straight. When we look for Jesus, our path is straight, and we know exactly what we should be doing. And we see our way to God. to God, always and for everything, saying, we thank you, God, for the beautiful world that you have created. We thank you, God, for all makes children happy. We thank you, God, for the food we eat, our homes and families and friends. We thank you, God, for minds to think and hearts to love. We thank you, God, for our health. We thank you, God, when we are sad, comfort us, O oh God. When we are afraid, comfort us, O oh God. 
when we have hurt someone, we are sorry, God. 